Hi guys. Today we're going to talk about our org parts create function. But before we get there, we're going to go to our application controller and we're going to take a look at line 13. Now, if you try to sign in with this code, you'll probably get an error. That's because the return to here is not supposed to be encased in square brackets, but rather round brackets. So change that, save it, and close the file. Now for our create function that gets run after clicking our post product, it is actually not that difficult. What you want to do first is you want to grab the contact information for the company. But before we do that, let's just get our tax details first using our get tax details function that we have written in our previous video. And that'll get the tax options for the post based on the company location. So next thing we want to do after that is we want to get the company information and that's the same code as what we have here in line 39 of get tax details. So we'll just use that to get the company contact information and we're going to rename that to company contact. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to define a new variable called product info. And what we're going to have here, first thing we need to do is sanitize the parameters, the input that we got when the user submitted their form. So we're going to sub, we're going to use this sanitizer to return a sanitized hash. After that, we're going to fill in our company info for our product product info because if you look at the product params, what we have here, what the user submits is name, tax amount, type category, type sub category, price, weight in grams, available quantity, expiry date, description, online, order available, and image. There is no org company ID, but in our org products table, there is org company ID, so we need to take that into account. And that's the reason why we grabbed our company co contact information, because that's the org company contact ID that we're going to use. So add the org company ID in the hash. Now we have to do the same for longitude and latitude, so that's what we'll do. So let's just add in our latitude and our longitude, and that's pretty much it. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to create the product. So let's have product equal org product create and product info. Now we want to see if this product saves properly. So we'll just do product update attributes product info. Now I want you to remember that create creates the record and it will save the record. So update attributes here will check if we save properly. And if we did, let's just put in our else and end. If we did, and let's flash them a message saying thank you, your product the name of the product has been posted and then redirect them to the edit path of the product. Otherwise, if there was any errors, then we'll re-render the page for the, for the user to fix any errors. Well, that's pretty much it. So let's flip over to our browser and let's try to submit a product. So let's just refresh the page to capture the changes. Let's say chicken legs. Category would be meat. I don't know. It's poultry. So it's two ninety nine. Weight in grams five hundred. Available quantity. Let's say a hundred. Will expire by next week. And let's say that keep it easy. Customers won't be able to product order this product online, and there will be no tax on the product. So let's post a product. Now you might run into this error. This is something that would probably be related to Elasticsearch, which is something that we won't talk about in today's video. But what I want to show you is that I want to see if the product was saved correctly. And yes, it was saved correctly because um, our, our company ID is three. Um, I said the weight in grams was 500. It'll be expired by next week. We had an available quantity of 100. So everything was saved correctly, and it's good. So that's where I want us to leave off today. Um, I would 
We will talk about the Elasticsearch problem in another video, but I hope you learned something. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave any comments or questions in the, com in the comments box below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.